Hey guys, Brock Cannon here. I'm a certified Wim Hof Method instructor. And today I wanted to just chat about three reasons why people typically can't hold their breath for as long as they would like when doing the Wim Hof Method breathing. Uh, in the Wim Hof Method breathing uh, protocol, we call this your retention time. And often, a lot of times people uh, have a pretty good streak for a while. They're able to hold their breath for one, two, three, or four plus minutes oftentimes. But then sometimes they hit a period where in their practice, uh, their retention times might start to drop. It's pretty common. Uh, and there's a few reasons that I found over doing personally uh, thousands of breathwork sessions myself and also helping hundreds of people uh, in the method. Three common things that very often come up. So number one is very, very simple, but it makes such a difference. And one of the reasons you might not be holding your breath for as long as you would like is because you're not holding completely still. That's right. So if you're laying down and you're fidgeting or you're worried about when you're going to need to take that next breath or you're just not really holding completely still, almost like you're dead, uh, you're not going to be able to hold your breath for as long. And I bet if you pay attention to this, this one little nuance, you'll start to see uh, your breath holds extending over a longer period of time. The second reason that you might not be holding your breath as long as you would like, and this sounds a little bit comical, but it's very, very real from my experience, is uh, your bladder might be full. And anytime your bladder is full and you're trying to hold your breath, um, it doesn't work. So maybe you've experienced this uh, and you know you drank a lot of water that morning and you're just not comfortable. You're not able to hold still and you're going to feel that uh, air hunger a lot quicker. So make sure that you empty your bladder before you go into your breathwork session. It's going to make a huge difference. The last thing, number three, is uh, really uh, more of a mental piece. So one of the reasons people don't hold their breath for as long as they would like is a lot mental. Uh, they have a block around how long they can actually hold their breath for. One thing that I would encourage you to try is uh, if you're looking at a stopwatch and you're, if you're looking at the time, and you're used to holding your breath for say two minutes on your third or your fourth round, um, try doing some sessions without looking at the clock and just allowing yourself to stay completely still for a while and almost again, like you're dead and block out any mental chatter of, oh my gosh, uh, you know, I'm approaching that two minute mark. I wonder how long I've been holding my breath. Just let that go. And you know, by the way, that's not what the method is about. The method is about feeling and just enjoying the feeling and not going off of the metrics so much, but people get really caught up in that. But if you do want to try that for a few sessions where you're not looking at a stopwatch and then maybe go back to that and just notice how different it is when you just block out all that mental chatter and just completely go into your body, just focus on the feeling and not the metrics that typically helps give people a boost in their retention times as well. So I hope those have helped. Three reasons why people typically can't hold their breath for as long. I uh, would love to hear your feedback, comment, like, and share this video if it's been value to you. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. Keep breathing.